The world's best, why don't you tell me? That's right. <laughs> this is the Sioux is considered one of the world's best sword swallowers. <laughs> and she has graciously agreed to demonstrate her unique talents for all of us. Now, Mrs. Masu, I'll simply hold the blade over your open mouth and then drop it into your tummy <laughs> like this. Aww. <laughs> she wants to do it at an angle. <laughs> Mrs. Masu, I'm teasing. You're a good sport, but you should never allow anyone to put a knife in your mouth. <laughs> This is the reason I invited you up there, and I really do appreciate what a fantastic sport you are. I need you to please be the eyes of the audience and verify how the sword gets into the stock through the middle and out the other side. Yeah, look how it goes. Can you see that? And then make sure it's solid steel. Now, Mrs. Masu, as was previously mentioned, the lovely and talented Mrs. Masu is considered one of the world's best swords while we're chin up like a happy pimp. <laughs> now, I know that you're a little worried. You should be. Blood can be so difficult to get out of a lovely smock. This will help stop the bleeding. <laughs> when you first feel the sting of the blade, Mrs. Masu, give a good scream so everyone knows it's there. <laughs> You can just relax, arms to your side. You can trust me. I'm a man. <laughs> this is the same with the Pakistan. This is the same. This is the same. <laughs> <laughs> now this is what's true. Thank you. This is the school.